Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Talk Guns at Quincy's Corner. I'm Quincy. Welcome to my corner and happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there today. I want to talk to you guys about the TACX Pro Gear inside the waistband Kydex holster with the fabric clip. Now this is my wife's. Uh, she carries an M&P EZ9. And they sent this to us. Because one thing we've always had an issue with, my wife wears leggings a lot. So it's hard to find a good holster to work with leggings. Um, most any inside the waistband holster just have one metal clip on the outside. Nothing really there to grab a hold to though. Um, you know, the waistband's real thin. So they center this. Now, I'm not even going to lie. She can work this thing with two fingers. I, I struggle. Um, but the way it works is just like that. You put it on just like you would a normal holster. But... Raise this up, and it snaps on. That will lock on to anything, and by anything, I mean anything. She has wore this with pants, leggings, all sorts of stuff. She's had no problem getting it to clip on and stay exactly where she puts it. Uh, she loves this thing. It's the only way I can put it. And one of the neat things that, you know, I will say TACX does over some other brands um, is the, the prints. Um, now, they have a lot of prints available in-house already that you can choose from or you can pay a little bit of extra money and get a custom print uh, it can be anything it can be a picture of your dog or your cat which you might hear my cats running around in the background uh, we just picked up a new stray uh, his name is Sylvester a little black cat with some white stripes so he's uh <laughs> seems like he's fitting right in uh, but the holster uh, Works good. Positive retention. Nothing to worry about. It locks in good, but it's not incredibly hard to pull back out. You hear it. I mean, that's a positive lock. The holes are smooth, slick corners. No sanding was needed when we got it. And again, positive retention. Like I said, everything already comes with nice rounded corners. Nothing needed to be filed down. Nothing needed to be sanded, smoothed out, reheated. It, it fits great. Uh, I've had a few other Kydex holsters uh, I ordered and not that the company was a bad company, just had a few issues with the holsters that I personally did not like. Um, for instance, and again, I will not name a company. One of the issues I had was how high the hump right here in the middle of the fold was. Their explanation for that is, well, if you wanted to go to high-rise sites. Now, I get it. With pistols, people change their sights to what they like. Um, I know the Glock sights is something a lot of people don't like. Um, here recently, another YouTube channel I'm sure everyone's heard of, Coleon Noir did a review on the actual pistol I carry, and that is the Ruger Security 9, uh, and he compared the Security 9 to, uh, the grip angle of a 1911 with the size of a Glock 19, however, he said the trigger was really smooth, but again, the sights, kind of like a Glock, you know, leave something there to, to want more. But anyways, back to the holster. But yeah, uh, nothing but good things to say about this. Um, the print looks pretty good. Uh, I've, I've done photo editing on the side for a little bit over a decade now. Um, and please understand, clear images can be hard to get sometimes. Especially on something like this. There are so many folds, so many creases. It was exposed to heat. And that changes everything. Now, I'm pretty sure that everyone can look at this and tell that these are sugar skulls. My wife, infatuated with them, loves them. Uh, I don't know why. But, uh, you know, you know when, she, when she found out she could get it, this is the one she wanted. And like I said, we had already had some issues with other companies. 
And the fact that someone actually made a holster specifically for her pistol, uh, we've uh, more or less been suckered in on buying holsters for the EZ380, and we're told, well, they're the same gun. Uh, so after we received the first holster and it didn't fit, well, we went back to our local firearms dealer and asked if we could compare it to the 380. Uh, and there, there are some differences. Now, also, for anyone that does not know, Smith & Wesson has had a recall on the Easy Line. You can go to their website, put in the serial number to your firearm, and it will tell you whether you need to send it back in or not. If you have one, please do it. It's not a good idea to be going around with a potentially dangerous firearm that you can have a malfunction with. My cat just called my wife. I'm sorry, that was funny. Um, <laughs> but again, you know, no issues at all. Uh, my wife's pistol has ambidextrous safety. The holster has the slot for that. They did not miss anything on this. And that was one of our concerns. We've had that issue before as well. Because, um, you know, some, uh, some pistols now, they make them with or without safeties. Just depends on the person. But they only make the holster to fit one and not the other. So, you know, that's been an issue we've ran into. But again, nothing but positive stuff to say. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, you know, you, you're kind of working with TAC X. I, I am, but I'm not. I want everyone to understand. Please understand. I don't get anything for free. If there's something I want, I'll place an order just like everybody else. Okay? Uh, I have a discount code that you guys use to save a little bit of money and it helps me save a little bit of money that's it you know if, if there was an issue with the product I'd tell you um for instance gonna be completely honest I've had several people trying out the belly band my wife included now she loves hers however there are some other people who have tried it that I think we're a little confused for one on <laughs> how exactly to wear it um but there were some questions. Um, there has been some issues with full size uh, double stack firearms. So, you know, it's not made for every single scenario. But that's what I want to put out there to you guys. Good, honest reviews. Nothing but straight down the middle. So, there's not much more to say about it. Again, perfect holster. Kydex, nice, thick. And man, I, I honestly cannot get over how smooth it is. Um, buddy of mine ordered a holster for us. Hellcat from another company. I ordered from the same company. And when it came in, the the edges left something to desire. Hello, sassy. Yeah. Here's one of our little kittens. Yeah. Come here. No, you just go sit on my table. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, you guys have heard me talk about holsters before. So, please understand, every holster has a purpose. It's made for a specific type of person. Um, this holster, if I remember right, runs somewhere around the $60 range. Uh, some of the other holsters I was talking about run around the $25 to $30 range. You're dealing with the Kydex holster made specifically for your firearm. So... You kind of get what you pay for on these. I mean, like I said, I, I, I don't have any complaints. Um, you know, TACX is still a fairly small company. And compared to some of these other big names that are out there, I mean, the quality is just top notch. You know, I, I honestly can't stress that enough. So, I mean, you know, definitely, if you're looking for a holster, and if you don't see one on their website, do not hesitate to give them a call and find out. This holster was not one listed on their website. It's a fairly new firearm. They hadn't had a chance to get it updated on their website yet. So when I talked to Stephanie, giving you a shout out, you're awesome. She looked it up for me, got back with me quick, said, yeah, we do make it, no problem. So, but guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Follow the link below, save yourself a little bit of money on any orders from NCCA.com, National Concealed Carry Association.com. Follow the links to TACXProGear.com, 
TagXProGear.shop. Pro Pro Got a little tongue tied there. Mouse a little sore from all the eating today. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'd say Turkey Day, but uh, we're not big turkey fans. Don't kill me. Uh, but, uh, you know, been a fun day. Cooked about roughly 30 pounds of ham. So, uh, everybody be safe. Enjoy the holidays. We'll see you next time. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Quincy here from Top Guns at Quincy's Corner. Are you tired of spending your day driving around from this store to that store, trying to find a particular part or brand or ammunition to suit your needs? Look no further. The National Concealed Carry Association.com website has got everything you need. Everything from top trusted brands such as Weaver, Magpul, Hops, and the list goes on and on. Everything from cleaning supplies, parts, ammunition, you name it, they got it. Holsters, plenty of them. Anything you need, check them out. Remember, go to National Concealed Carry Association.com. Also, while you're there, look up TACXProGear.com and TACXProGear.shop. The EDC trays are awesome. The cleaning mats look wonderful. So check them out, guys. Use the link down below, save yourself 10%, and admittedly now, I get a little bit of a kickback from it. You guys take it easy, and we'll see you next time.